Good morning, everybody. North Carolina Prepper here. I want to talk about Dakin's solution. Um, or Dakin's, however you pronounce it. D-A-K-I-N apostrophe S solution. And I'll put a link to the information below and the formula and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Basically, it's used to prevent skin and uh, tissue infections that could result from cuts, scrapes, or pressure sores. It's also used before and after surgery to prevent surgical wound infections. Basically, Dakin solution is a hypochlorinate or bleach solution. It's made from bleach that's been diluted and treated to decrease um, irritation. Um, chlorine is pretty much the active ingredient in it. It's a very strong antiseptic that kills most forms of bacteria and viruses. Um, Let's see, bleach here, uh, I don't know, it says on, on you know, how much it kills, but basically it's like 99.9% .9 of crap, so that's that's pretty good there. Um, <clears throat> basically you pour it into the infected area, or injured area. I was thinking about Ironhead 41 when he, he burned himself real bad on the stove. I thought this, I thought about this too, and, and uh, other antiseptics and such. Um, basically it's an irrigation or cleanser. It mimics what um, certain type of wound dressings, i.e. wet dressing. Follow your doctor's instructions if they ever give you this. Uh, basically what it does is it, it kind of mimics your body's own wound healing. Um, healing um, the fluids, the lymph or the, the weeping stuff kind of reduces effectiveness, so you have to keep redoing it. This stuff doesn't last but a few days, allegedly. I don't really know, but allegedly. Um, the solution is often used once daily for minor wounds or twice daily for heavy draining or contaminated wounds. You'd use it as directed by your healthcare professional. But in the shit at the fan, uh, there really isn't anyone to help you. So, if it's all you've got, it's all you've got and it can be made as needed. Um, <clears throat> let's get into it. Um, basically, we need to boil four cups of water. So let's do that right now. Put the lid on it. And this kills, um, all the viruses, <clears throat> all the cysts, all that good stuff that's in the water that normally the chlorine would just take care of. So we need 32 ounces of water. That works out to four cups. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. I'm using hot water for the sake of the video. Uh, normally I wouldn't use hot water for or hot tap water. Uh, because basically it's got a lot of uh, dissolved solids in there. And, um, I really don't want all this dissolved solids and dissolved metals. I think that was four cups. No, oh, if it isn't, it doesn't matter the video. <clears throat> so, we need to go ahead and boil that for, um, 15 minutes? Yeah. We need to boil that for 15 minutes, so, let me go ahead and do that and put the lid on, and we'll come back, um, I'll start a timer, and we'll come back in 15 minutes. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, the water's boiling. I'm quite angry. Right over there. Right there. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a half um, a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to add a half teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And what this will do is this is going to buffer the solution. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Maybe. There's a level teaspoon, tablespoon, or teaspoon. Okay. And I'm going to spoon here to make sure we've rolled it all. And 
Then we're going to add, for a full strength solution, we're going to add 3 ounces, or 95 milliliters. Measuring cup, 2 ounces a quarter cup, so a third cup. Okay. Let me zoom back out here. There we go. There's a third of a cup. Gonna add that to it. I'll set this over here. And that is basically it. Um, <clears throat> store it like you would any type of uh, photosensitive solution. I'm going to put this in a mason jar. And it's good for about, like I said, three days, a week or so. It just the directions say that it is good for a few days. And it's easily made. You can easily make more. I'll put the link for the information on the video. But this is really good for irrigating wounds. It helped a lot of guys out in World War I and World War II. Um, it's just something you need to know. It's um, Basically, it, um, it irrigates the wound and it acts like your body's immune system and removes the... Um, the dead cells and the dead tissue, it kind of irrigates it away, and the bleach, or sodium hypocalate, I guess I pronounce it, is what, um, what does the breaking up of the weak tissue. So, there you go, um, Dakin's or Dakin solution, I'll put a link on, it's really simple, everybody should know how to make this out of memory, um, <clears throat> I got another video up, or I'm going to do one, I'm not sure which, of how to take pool shock and make it into full strength bleach, so, this bleach loses strength over time. It turns into, I think, salt water. And um, <clears throat> this will lose strength too. So just keep it covered up in tin foil or in your closet or a dark jar or a dark closet or whatever. But um, you, can make it from, you can make bleach from, from pool shock um, and do it that way too. And that will be shelf stable forever and just add the amount of water. I'll do the math and all that later in another video, but not now. Okay, North Carolina Prepper, please rate, subscribe, and stay healthy. And knowledge in your brain is the best tool for survival. Remember that. What you know will get you by. All right.